Hey guys, Mower, Mower Mike here from uh, Mower Mike's HQ down here in beautiful state of Texas. What we've got here is a John Deere LA145, and I'm gonna show you the quickest, most efficient way to move the blades off this mower. Now, I know a lot of guys will even crawling underneath the mowers, using hand tools, uh, you know, just stressing for hours over getting blades off because they're rested on there and all that. I don't believe in that. What I do is I pull the deck first, it's really not that hard. I've got a four minute clip out there underneath my channel to show you how to do it. Pull it off, support it with some uh, wheel chocks here up on its side. And all you do is you remove the nut here. The way I do it, I believe in air tools. A little impact wrench, it always gets her done. I got the Nitro Cat 1200 pound impact wrench. You know, you don't need one this big. You can get the little battery, battery powered ones that. Uh, Harbor Freight, I've got one of those, you know, third dollar deal. Uh, John Deere's got, a, most of them got a 15th, 16th socket on them. And we'll go ahead and pull her off. So I just put it on the nut there, throw her in reverse, and boom, and we're off. So now we've got the blade off. I wanna show you this, I've recently sharpened these blades. Now a trick with blades, I can't tell you how many idiots I've seen put blades on upside down which means it's cutting grass with a dull part. With a mower blade, you always have the sharp part facing down. So this part that's curved up will be facing towards the deck, this part towards the grass to cut it. Uh, so to then put it back on, you just slide her back on. You know, the key on these, you'll see the little star. Don't just let it wiggle, wiggle. Make sure it snaps in there where it's actually turning the spindle with it. Let's put her on upside down. All right, so you got out of there. Then you put your washer back on. Put your nut on there. Set my impact at the lowest uh, tightening range, righty tighty. And then we just. Nothing like an impact wrench. And she's tied on there, ready for next round. Uh, the only thing is <laughs> these impact wrenches do get them pretty tight. So next time you pull them off, you're going to have to pull the deck off. Probably use an impact gun again, but I think this is the most efficient way to do it. So I appreciate you guys watching. You guys have any questions, comments, leave them down there. Uh, if you guys are interested, you know, subscribe. We'll have some fun fixing some random stuff, talk about some mowers and have some fun. Anyways, I'm going to get to cutting. Talk to you fellas later. Bye.